Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness, uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, affirmed that the approval of the Council of Representatives of the Government Action Plan represents a milestone along the path of cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. The Council's approval of the Action Plan by an overwhelming majority of 95% represents a significant national moment, moment, as it shows the confidence of the Bahraini people and its representatives in the government, which under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Premier has achieved 90% of his objectives in the past project. The approval of the action plan showed the keenness of the government in cooperating with the legislative authority on a variety of matters of national interest as it carries on with further achievements. Additionally, more move also sheds light on the scale of challenges that face the kingdom as well as the rest of the world in light of its limited resources and a fluctuating oil market. As for the changes that have been made to the action plan, they were achieved through a joint effort between the executive and legislative authorities through the government delegations meetings with the parliamentary committee to study the government action plan. This joint effort sheds uh, light on the democratic nature of the decision-making process through the free expression of the hopes and aspirations of the citizens. The future of the national process carries with it further tasks for the Council of Representatives, starting with the next few weeks when the budgets of the next two years will be represented to the representatives. It is hoped uh, that the spirit of positivity and cooperation will continue as it safeguards the best interests of the kingdom under the Lloyd's leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council of Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today in the Council a number of officials and specialists in the field of higher education and a number of Bahraini University teachers in the presence of Dr. Majid Naimi, which came in the occasion of the Bahraini Women's Day, which was allocated to celebrate Bahraini women in the higher education field and future sciences. Her Royal Highness conveyed the pride of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the role and achievements of women in the field of education, noting His Majesty's invitation to document the Bahraini woman's career in this field to introduce her role to future generations. Her Royal Highness stressed that this interest came in the light of the achievements of Bahraini women in this field, where she held high leadership positions, including a university presidency and deanship, high degrees in university education, academic research, and memberships of international bodies and centers. She stressed on the importance of such meetings, especially upon the selection of this year's Bahraini Women's Day theme, which coincides with the 100th, 100th anniversary of uh, formal education in Bahrain and recalling in this regard the proclamation of Bahraini Women's Day as a national occasion in 2008, in conjunction with the 80th anniversary of formal education for women in Bahrain. She noted that the theme of Bahraini Women's Day this year stems from the solid foundation of respect for education and educators, focusing on education as a basis for the active participation of Bahraini women in developing their country. She noted that the theme of the Bahraini Women's Day this year aims to prepare Bahraini women for the fields of future sciences in light of strong presence in the field of higher education. Her Royal Highness expressed anticipation for ideas and suggestions from education specialists and officials through focus and discussion groups to encourage women to join educational fields such as professional education and future science, which requires the update of relevant programs to develop Bahraini women's position in the higher education sector. She noted that the Council intends uh, to organize the first female hackathon in Bahrain in order to develop innovational and inventive skills in the field of technical software related to future sciences and other fields. For their part, her guests affirm that choosing higher education as a theme will highlight the achievements of Bahraini women in this sector and will encourage women to further develop in education and workplace.
The Youth Affairs Committee at the Shore Council held a discussion on the articles of a proposed draft law on regulating professional sports in a meeting that was headed by Chairman of the Committee, Rida Ibrahim Munferidi, and was attended by Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al Mu'ayyad, and Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar. The Chairman of the Youth Committee affirmed that there is an agreement between the Committee and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs based on the premise said that Bahraini sports life is witnessing rapid growth and development and that Bahraini sports should become an industry that will empower sports clubs and federations through the crafting of, of advanced laws and legal codes. Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee approved in a meeting chaired by the President of the Committee, Hamad bin Mbarak al naimi approved a draft law to ratify the amendment protocol of the Air Services Agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of the Philippines. Hamad bin Mbarak al naimi noted that the agreement promotes the relations between Bahrain and the Philippines, especially in air services, noting that many other agreements require amendments to conform with the development and progress witnessing the two countries, in addition to modernizing regulations in various fields. The Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee of the Representatives Council, chaired by Dr. Hicham Al Ashiri, discussed with the Minister of Shura Council and Representatives Affairs Council, Ghanem bin Fadl Al Bouainin, a number of decrees on the internal regulations of the Representatives and Shura Council. They stressed that the decision on the decrees will be discussed in the committee's next meeting. Al Ashiri noted that the committee has constitutionally recognized six of the issues referred to it as non original and that the committee delayed the decision on the the reorganization of the legislative and fatwa authority was postponed, where it requires the presence of representatives of the legislative and fatwa authority for further discussion and clarification. The Services Committee in the Council of Representatives held a meeting chaired by Ammar Gambar, whereby the committee met with Chief Executive Officer of the Social Insurance Organization, Iman Al Mirbati, and other associated personnel to discuss a number of the committee's reports. The meeting discussed a legal study on a draft law to change the creation of a labor fund salary regulation retirement awarding for public sector employees as well as the regulation of the retirement salaries and awards of 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 officers and other Bahrain Defense Force and personnel from police. The Services Committee discussed the amendments of the decree law regarding labor in the civil sector, whereby the committee decided to refer the report on this matter to the Council's office for further study. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Muhammad Al Khalifa Cultural and Research Center, Sheikh Hamaya bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, announced yesterday the fruitful cooperation between the UAE and the center as part of a series of initiatives that were launched marking the essential of late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan in honor of his role in promoting brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE. The announcement was made during a press conference uh, that was attended by UAE Minister of Culture and Knowledge uh, Development, Mrs. Noura Al Kabi, and UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in addition to members of the diplomatic corps and media personnel. During the conference, two projects supported by the UAE were launched. The first of the P uh, or the Peace Inn was unveiled to welcome visitors to the uh, Pearl Trail in Maharag, and the second project is the Green Corner, which is a building that will be used to restore the documents and paintings. Sheikh Hamey said that this cooperation provides a geographical and cultural extension to the biography of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan in his second homeland, specifically in Maharag which used to welcome the names of those who believed in culture as the title of societies. For her part, Mrs. Noura asserted the strong historical brotherly relations linking the UAE and Bahrain under the wise leadership of both countries. The National Bureau for Revenue held a workshop for those who work in the real estate sector in an effort to raise awareness about the technicalities of revenue generation. The workshops comes as a measure on the part of the National Bureau for Revenue to ensure that the utmost transparency is achieved. The Bureau affirmed that it will continue carrying out its intensive program, which is launched last, September, last December, by organizing a series of workshops and other activities that aim to raise awareness on the matter. 
The personnel of the Bureau represented 45 of those involved in the real estate market, who represented a total of 35 companies with a comprehensive picture of the revenue generation process where it pertains to this particular segment of the market and addressed a number of queries from the audience.